Okay, so here's the deal. We have a very exciting merger happening in the stock market between Churchill Capital and Lucid Motors. So the idea here is that Churchill Capital is trying to take Lucid Motors, which is a private company, public, and they're going to pay $15 billion, okay? So if we look at Lucid Motors, we can see they are a high-end luxury vehicle maker, and a lot of people have compared them to Tesla, poss a possible Tesla competitor. However, as you can see, they this company has not sold one car yet. It's still just, they're planning to start their first deliveries in spring of this year, and the car is going to cost over $160,000. So that is much more expensive than a Tesla, but as you can see, these cars look amazing, super fancy. Now, next year in 2022, we have a cheaper option coming out called the Lucid Air Pure, which is going to be about $70,000. That might be a more serious Tesla competitor, but this is more than a year away. So now let's look at the CCIV stock price. So over the past couple of days, this stock has went from $10 to now over $18 a share. So that's an increase of about 86%. And that means a lot of the hype has already been factored in. So let's say this merger does go through, which in my opinion, it most likely will because I don't see a reason either company would be against it. And giant media outlets like Bloomberg have already started reporting on it. So that's probably a good sign. Another good sign is the fact that Lucid Motors is backed by the Saudi Wealth Fund. So that's something really good to have going for them. And if the merger does go through, then the stock price probably will go up more, probably past $25, $30 a share. So you can make good money if the merger goes through. But if the merger doesn't go through, then it's not the end of the world because this Churchill Capital Company is going to continue looking for another company to invest in. So you could sell some luck even if this merger doesn't go through. Personally, I'm not going to be investing in this because I don't really like investing on companies just because of the hype in the market, but I do see some possible potential with them in the future.